Hack the Box is raising the price of subscriptions on their lab or their main platform for the first time since 2020. In this video, number one, I want to give you a high level overview what these changes are and how it might affect you as a user of Hack the Box. And number two, I want to answer the question, is a Hack the Box subscription actually worth it in 2025 and beyond, or should you begin exploring alternative models and alternative options? Now, right at the outset, let me be clear. This video is in no way sponsored by Hack the Box. I'm a huge fan of Hack the Box and the team over there. I showcase them all the time on my streams, but this is not sponsored by them. They did not ask me to make this video. They're not reviewing this video. These really are my honest thoughts. Hey, real quick, one of the best ways you can support me is by enrolling in one of my courses. I have everything from a beginner level introduction to hacking methodology to a course for red teamers and pen testers doing phishing and social engineering engagements. All of my content comes from my day-to-day -day work as a pen tester and red teamer in the field and i also offer a lifetime refund guarantee if you enroll my course now and let's say three years from now you realize it wasn't worth it send me a message i will refund whatever you paid for the content that's how much i believe that these courses will help you in your career they're all incredibly affordable links are in the description enjoy the rest of this video now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about the high level overview. Beginning on October 1st, a few changes are happening. Number one, the normal VIP sub, which many of you likely have, is no longer going to be available. The VIP sub is what gives you access to all of the retired machines, which is sort of a necessity if you wanna live stream the machines because you're not allowed to live stream active machines. And the other sub, the VIP plus, is going up in price. Now, it sounds a little bit confusing. Let me go ahead and share my screen and we'll walk through this together. So once again, starting October 1st, VIP plus monthly subscriptions will increase by 25%. So when it comes to a VIP plus sub, you have the choice to pay either per month or annual. Now I have an annual sub just because I'm a big fan of Hack the Box, but the monthly ones are gonna go up by 25%, whereas the yearly or the annual sub are gonna go up by 10%, but this is probably the biggest change. VIP plans will no longer be available for purchase. Now, I don't have the numbers. I don't work at Hack the Box, but I have to imagine the majority of subscribers are subscribed to the VIP plan. This gives you access to all of the retired machines. I believe it's sometimes shared instances of them, but you have access to the entire catalog of retired machines. That plan is going away. So if you are on the VIP plan, you really need to pay attention to this change. Now, if you scroll through here, and I'll post a link to this blog in the description of this video, but they talk about the reason behind this. But if you just look at this, I think it's obvious. They went from 250 plus more machines and 450 plus more challenges with write-ups, videos, new challenge categories, a brand new category, defensive training, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. In other words, they've made a lot of changes since 2020. You can see in 2020, they had 170 machines. In 2025, they have 450 machines. In 2020, they had zero Sherlock's, that's their blue team defensive labs, and now there are 70. There was 15 challenges, now there's 490. There was zero Volna machines, there's now 40 plus, I will admit, that's the one part that just breaks my heart a little bit. I discovered Volnab shortly before they were acquired by Hack the Box, and you could pay like $12 a month to get access to all the Volnab machines, including very large red team labs that were amazing, but those are now being migrated to Hack the Box and does cost more than what they were on Volnab. And finally, access to a cloud-based virtual machine that is the Pwn Box. I actually made a review video about the Pwn Box. You can check it out on my YouTube channel, but of course it did not exist in 2020, but yes, it does does exist now in 2025. And if we scroll through here, they explain a little more about the reasoning behind this, but I wanna answer a few of the most common questions and they actually do it here. So what is the updated pricing? Well, let's look at this together. So currently a VIP monthly subscription costs $14. That is the cheapest subscription you can get on the Hack the Box Labs platform. This is no longer going to be available. Now, if you buy a VIP subscription right now and buy the annual plan, they will honor it until the time that your subscription expires. But when your VIP subscription expires, you will not be able to renew at that lower price point. It's no longer going to be available. Instead, you will have to get the VIP Plus. You can see the current price for a VIP Plus subscription is $20 a month. The new monthly price is $25 a month, and the current annual price is 203, and the new annual price is 223. If you do the math, you can get an annual sub to VIP Plus. It comes to about 18 to 19 USD, US dollars a month. 
So if you are a VIP or a VIP plus subscriber, here's an important thing. If you are a VIP monthly or annual subscriber, the subscription will increase in price starting October 1st. This is not something you opt into. You're automatically opt into it as a subscriber on Hack the Box. If you're in a VIP monthly or annual plan, the price stays the same for now. And it says any future changes will be clearly communicated ahead of time. So we'll just have to stay tuned and see what they end up saying about that. You can scroll through here to answer Answer a few more questions. Can you start a new VIP sub? Of course, you cannot after October 1st. That is being sunsetted. It is no longer going to be offered. And I like this right here. They said, why are we sunsetting it? Well, they said maintaining two separate tiers creates complexity for both users and our platform. Here would be my feedback to the Hack the Box team. If anyone from Hack the Box watches this, I don't think the VIP and the VIP Plus were super confusing. What's confusing, I think, to me and many users of Hack the Box is the three different platforms. You have like ctf.hackthebox, labs.hackthebox, and academy.hackthebox. Now, if you have a VIP Plus subscription, that's completely different from Hack the Box Academy. Hack the Box Academy is almost an entire, not almost, it really is an entirely different platform. Your Hack the Box Academy subscription does not come over to the main Hack the Box platform, and your VIP Plus subscription in Hack the Box does not translate over to the Academy platform. So if you want access to the Academy, there are some free modules, but you have to pay an increased subscription on top of that. My feedback to Hack the Box is that if you really want to make this less confusing and ensure consistency and sustainability, I would strongly recommend figuring out a way that you can offer one subscription that covers both the main Hack the Box platform, Pro Labs, and Hack the Box Academy. You have all of the different things on the Academy and the main platform that personally, as a user of Hack the Box, I'm still confused by it, trying to figure out how all the different modules work, how you unlock them with cubes. So if there was one subscription that just unlocked everything or most things on both platforms, that would be amazing. But let's talk about the second question. With this increase in price, is a subscription to Hack the Box in 2025 and beyond actually worth it? I personally think it is. Now I say that as someone who is slowly building my own courses, building my own hands on labs that are hosted in the cloud, you can check those out in the description of this video. But I really do think Hack the Box is the best platform or one of the best platforms for learning hands on hacking today. Now, I'm also a huge fan of Try Hack Me, but I still think Hack the Box is significantly better in terms of the quality of their standalone machines. You'll notice that many of my recent live streams have been me working through retired machines, specifically Volnet machines, over on Hack the Box. The reason for that is Hack the Box just seems to be better quality as far as realism goes. I feel like the things I see on Hack the Box are things I actually see on real penetration tests when I'm doing my day-to-day -day job as a pen tester, and that's something that some of the other platforms are lacking. So is a hack the box sub worth it in 2025 and beyond? I would say absolutely. Now there is a price increase, but even at $25 a month, the amount of content and quality of content you get access to is insane. That's an incredibly low price point, even with the price increase with everything you're going to get access to with the hack the box subscription. Now I don't have any special link. I don't get any kickbacks if you get a hack the box subscription, but that is my personal opinion. You'll notice for many of even my hack with me's that I've released on my platform, I'm using hack the box machines, actually Volna machines, but of course they were acquired by hack the box, but it's just because of the quality of those machines. Now I will say one sneak peek on my platform. I will be coming out with a few standalone challenge machines, as well as some larger networks, really with a focus on teaching, not quite the CTF, like points and everything on Hack the Box. But if you are looking for another platform, maybe a little bit more affordable, I will be releasing a few machines, but I'll just be blunt. Like there's no way I can match the quality and the number of machines and just content over on Hack the Box. I personally think Hack the Box deserves every ounce of the subscription that they get. They've done some amazing things in our field to make cybersecurity, specifically ethical hacking, affordable and accessible to everyone. That being said, I would love to hear from you. Are you going to continue your Hack the Box subscription with this payment change, with this price change? Let me know in the comments. Or maybe you're a big fan of another platform, maybe a lesser known platform, also let me know in the comments. I'm always on the lookout for other platforms to play around with. So, hey, I would love to hear from you. What do you think about these changes? Do you think they're good, bad, otherwise? And do you have other platforms that you would recommend me checking out? Believe it or not, I do my best to read all of the comments. So I will check out your comments. We'll continue the conversation in the comment section. But hey, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.